And what a film. Thank Don't you. Because you, you know that we, I love the first one so much. Yeah. And there's always a wee bit of, I'm not sure, is it going to be as good? Is it, yeah. I bet uh, you probably f felt like that a exactly little bit. Exactly the same thing. A certain, I mean, you know, looking forward to doing it, but a certain trepidation as well, because yeah. so many people loved the first film throughout the world. People loved this movie, so you, you had to try and make sure you got it right. Absolutely. Well, you did. All <laughs> of you did. You. All of you thank did. You. It was never really in any doubt, though, that this was going to happen. It was just a matter of getting everything in yeah. place, do you think? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I'd, we'd always thought that it was in the ether, it was always going to happen yeah. at some point. Because, but, you know, he is the hard man. It's difficult for us to show a clip this no, time in the morning because, I don't of, the, think you can show anything <laughs> because of the swearingness <laughs> and the serious swearing. But really, you, that must have been great for you as well, to, to show a lot more. The, the, there was an actual fact. <clears throat> There's another book, in fact, called The Blade Artist, which came out in the springtime there, and that kind of takes Beg beyond to a different place. And this, that scene that you're talking about mm. towards the end of the film is really the kind of bridge between this film and potentially oh. another one. Oh, could you do one of, of him? Uh, that would absolutely. be amazing. Well, we've been it? talking about it myself oh, it and Robin Welsh and Danny. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. I really hope so. And that's when you see there's another side to this guy, you know yeah. what I mean? That he's, um, he's got almost no redeeming features whatsoever, but in that moment with, with his family, to towards the end, yeah. then you can see that he realises what he's lost. Exactly. Life, it yeah. is a bit about loss. This Very film, much isn't so. It? But friendships, you know, I think Completely. that's probably the biggest issue there. And your dentist helped you get into this role. I believe. <laughs> is that true? That's very true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had um, I had a temporary crown in my bottom set of teeth. Right. And uh, it had been there because I, I needed a time, like a few months, to, to, to get that replaced in, in healing. Right. So with filming commitments, I didn't have any time to do that. So that had been sitting there for about a year and a half. Right. So I thought, well, this is the moment to do it. I thought, let's just take this out for Begbie. So when I took that one out, the other tooth had been lying beside it, was weak. Right. And I thought, well, just take that one out as well. Gosh, <laughs> the sacrifices that are made. That's it. But it works. Uh, well, I mean, it, it just, really again, does. it just, when I saw that, it gave, it just gives, it's a little bit of colour, it's a little bit of detail, and you can mm. imagine, well, he's probably lost that in the prison somewhere. Oh, I would think so. <laughs> I, would th I, mean, that, I mean, there are scenes in there where you, I mean, like I said, I barely laughed. I mean, it was hilariously, Thank hilariously you. funny. Yeah. So, so funny. It's just sometimes his expression as yeah. well. Because you kind of, I mean, I kind of grew up knowing people like him. Exactly, exactly. I think we all did. I think most people for the West Coast of Scotland. Yeah, and, there's, and there is one scene in there that everybody from the West Coast of Scotland will get, yeah. and it's hilariously funny. Oh, I know Hilari the one you're talking about. I don't want exactly to get away, you're but you've about. got to watch it, because yes, I mean, I was in tears laughing. It was so, so, so funny. So we might even have... A, it might not be so, so much train spotting three, but it'll be more focused on. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it, and, and the, the, the Blade Artist actually. I mean, believe it or not, when you when you when it, when it begins, Begbie is in California. Now, how? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> uh, and what well, the reason for that is he's met uh, an art therapist in the prison. Oh, that's, now, that's so a clever. familiar tale. That is a familiar that, tale, yeah. The old Jimmy uh, Bond thing. Yeah. It, well, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought when I read it. Wow. That's so clever. she, they, they, you know, they marry, they go to California, has children. You know, everything's absolutely fine for him there. And uh, very, very early on, I think in the first, in the very first, first chapter of the book, he gets a phone call from from back home in Edinburgh right. to tell him that his son's dead. <gasps> so he goes back, and it just kind of spirals. Wow. Down. This, this is for another time. This is for another time. No, but it's incredible. And are you still dividing your time between Canada and? I'm um, indeed. Yeah, I'm still doing once upon a time. Yeah, it's great. It's that, Rumpel isn't it? Rumpel Stiltskin, my alter ego. Your alter ego is Rumpel Stiltskin. <laughs> and, and the thing about that, though, is it can go in so many different directions. Oh, it's You're been only great limited for me. by your imagination oh, with a show like that. It's been a fantastic that, show for me. I've really, really. Yeah. We're in our sixth season now. And uh, I mean, again, I, I didn't think it was going to last, but of course, it's still going. I'm still. It's there. still going strong. It's yeah. still going strong. Do you know the film Monty, which you did after Trainspotting? Yes. Do you think they could do? The same as they've done here and do a film. Phil I'd Monty love too. to know what happened to him. I tell you and what, all of them. No one wants to see me take my clothes off anymore, Lena. Oh, I'm, I don't know. Honestly. Oh no, I think they might. No, no it's, not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> well you never know what's happened to him. It just would be you know when you know when you invest so much in a film and that yes. film touched so many people oh, as the train spotting. Yeah. You want to you just kinda want to, the characters you want to know more about them, I guess. You know, it's funny, I mean that you say that I hadn't really thought about that until uh, the other day someone yeah. mentioned it in another kind of press thing I was doing and I thought it might be quite interesting to see when all these guys guys are, you know, 20 years down the line, yeah, you know, things have changed. Been. Because you do, and that's one of the, the, the one of the most interesting things, I suppose, for a bit, a bit T2, is that you're, 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 you're seeing all these characters, these kind of well-loved characters, 20 years down the line and, and seeing what's happened to them, what's happened yeah. to their lives, you know, so maybe, who knows? Who knows? It would be a good one. It yeah. is so great to see you. It's lovely Thank to see you. you too. I know everybody will go see the movie, it's out this Friday, I hope and so. honestly, you will... 
love it. But I, I guarantee you, there's no many movies that make you laugh and cry, and it's and you go, I know that, <laughs> I know that. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Good. I'm really, 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 really pleased. You thank you, it. Robert. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.